Queridos amigos, aquí estamos uh, con, un, eh, con una charla muy eh, bonita, muy importante, porque tenemos aquí en el otro lado a una eminencia de la psiquiatría y de la psicología que se llama Jeffrey Schwartz, es eh, psiquiatra, doctor en medicina y uno de los personajes más importantes en el mundo del tratamiento del TOC del trastorno obsesivo compulsivo. De hecho, aquí tenemos su próximo libro que se llama, como veis aquí, Desbloquea tu cerebro, Desbloquea tu cerebro de la editorial HarperCollins y que ya, eh, ya está a la venta en, en todas las librerías, ya podéis comprarlo. Yo recomiendo absolutamente, totalmente a todo el mundo que tenga trastorno obsesivo compulsivo top que compre este libro y lo estudie bien y se lo aplique bien, porque es una fuente de información importantísima. Jeffrey, thank you uh, for being here with me today. Okay, good. Uh, Jeffrey, I, I have a, a bunch of questions for you. Um, uh, the first question is, uh, um, uh, the, 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 this um, problem, the obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, OCD, is Do you think is something genetic? Is something learned? A mixture of the of the two things? What, what is your opinion after so many years in it? Okay, so um, you know, if you're talking about the, the disorder itself, um, I you know, uh, in many ways, um, you know, I have another book. Um, you are not your brain. And in many ways, um, I, I certainly believe that the mind can change the brain, but, but obsessive compulsive disorder, um, in, in the, in the, it's one of those things that I basically agree pretty, uh, completely with, with sort of the main, the main perspective in, in biological psychiatry. Um, uh -huh. in, in this particular case, I mean, obsessive compulsive disorder, you know, as a, you know, disorder, because there's also compulsive personality thing, uh -huh. other things that carry that name, but the actual disorder, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, is a biological disorder. I mean, you're not going to get um, real obsessive compulsive disorder unless something is going on in, in your brain. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so the, the thing that, um, that really make, makes that, I think the most clear is, is how, you know, how you get these intrusive, unwanted thoughts and urges, um, that really don't make sense to the person. And on some level, the person really knows that this doesn't really make sense. And and people who have OCD, you know, have that happen. And that doesn't happen like that just from psychological or learned elements. Although it definitely has psychological and learned elements that influence the course that it takes. Yeah. And we certainly believe that psychological and learned elements can change that brain chemistry in ways that help. And so what goes along with that is that if you don't do the right things, psychological and learned things can make it worse. Um, but there is an underlying brain problem. And so brain lock is, is real. I mean, it's not, it's, it, I mean, and, and it's, and yes, it's genetic. It has a genetic component to it. That, that's it. I, I think I agree with you completely for all of, uh, for my experience. And I think this is very important for people to know because they have to distinguish very well their obsessive thinking from the other kind of worries that everybody has and that they demand to be solved. And, and the, 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 the ones from the disorder that you don't have to solve, that you have to leave them unresolved, which is a very different thing. So you have to be very aware that this is very different. And in this sense, 
I know some other some other authors, um, experts or so-called experts in OCD that they uh, mix the, the the normal worries of people with the OCD worries. We, in my opinion, is very different because if you don't distinguish very well one thing from the other, uh, how you can help the people to leave those thoughts apart, not, not to give them credit. So to me, it's very important to distinguish that if you've got OCD, you are a different person and you need something different for this kind of uh, yeah. worries. I, do you agree with me? I, I do agree with that. And and we had a line going all, all the way back. I mean, as long as we're doing this, I mean... I mean, this is actually the 20th anniversary edition, so it just oh, came out yeah, a couple yeah. of years ago. But but um, yeah, you know, cool. and it has these like you know brain pictures in the back that yeah. you know, there's brain stuff going on. I mean, but that the whole point is that you can change your brain. Um, but in, in that book, even in the original edition of it, that was like the 20th anniversary edition, which now is over 25 years ago. But we had a saying. It's not how you feel, it's what you do that counts. So the, 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 um, the thing that really makes OCD not get better, that will make it worse, is trying to get rid of the feeling. Okay. I mean, you, you have this uncomfortable, bothersome feeling, and then you have the feeling that if you do something, wash, check, repetitive behaviors, other kinds of rituals, it's going to somehow make that feeling get better. Exactly. That's not true. And, exactly. and it's very consistent with what you just said. I mean, the whole idea of, of using, you know, relabeling and, and, you know, reattributing it to your brain exactly. is so that you can realize this feeling, the, the, the way I'm going to de diminish it is, is, is by learning how to refocus away from it. And then that's why there is definitely a role for medication. I mean, exactly. there is a role for medication in treating OCD. There's, there is, there's not, that's not, I don't consider that up for question. I don't, I don't consider it honestly ethical to say there's no role for course, medication in OCD. And there are people who say that and, and, um, I, I really believe they're making a bad mistake. Now, how you use medication in OCD or going to the other extreme, which a lot of biologically oriented psychiatrists do and say, it's a brain disease. We treat it with biological, you know, we treat That's it with right. medication. We treat it with, you know, transcranial magnetic, magnetic stimulation, whatever. I mean, um, and that's what we do. That's equal, not equally equally but that's also a big mistake because, so ocd is basically it's one of the reasons i got so interested in it it's a classic example of it's biological but but how you understand that and remembering that it's biological and then acting in ways that can change that biology based on how you refocus your attention and the choices exactly. you make on how to deal with those bothersome feelings together with medication uh, and not everyone needs medication not exactly. everyone needs no, medication no. I but, Sam. but i think everyone who has real ocd needs to do some version of recognizing what it is exactly. and, and 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 not listening to it and focusing away from it in fact jeffrey i don't know if you know this book which is translated into spanish it's called it's from two authors okay no i don't know that book it is sally winston and martin say oh okay well i just didn't re yeah no, of course i know that book i mean i i don't know it well i didn't recognize it in spanish i mean um yeah i mean you know from, but they mix, never, people they tell mix. me that it uses a similar a similar uh, perspective to the I, one that I, I think I it's, it is is it has very good points but the bad point is that it mixed because the, the title of the book is is guide to overcome the um, worrying thought, obsessive, yeah, obsessive thoughts. I mean, I think the, the, obsessive thoughts. I think is is what exactly. Is what but but what it does 
it 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 mix all all kind of of right. problems and uh, this is uh, what i don't agree because uh, because it's different because because when 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 you have a normal worry you can solve it or you can think it away by thinking correctly with cognitive therapy but when you vote OCD, no, don't, don't use mainly cognitive therapy because it's, it's not yeah, what you need. So, you know, I'm okay. I mean, there's simply no question about it. You know, um, that book has displaced um, Brain Lock as, a be as the best selling OCD or obsessive book. I mean, that's book sells can, you know, Brain Lock still sells well, okay, but that book sells better. And, and, mm -hmm. and so, whatever. I mean, you know, it's, you know, marketing whatever you want I, I mean but but that perspective let's just say is an easier sell in some ways but but yeah. i think it's incorrect and i think if you have real ocd um yeah i mean ocd it, it's different it is i mean it's so i mean there, this thing recently just happened last week uh in the united states where stanford university came out of lists of words that people shouldn't use anymore it's very tied into, uh, you know, the cultural, you know, wokeism or whatever you want to call it. And literally one of the things they put in the list is OCD. Don't call people OCD because they didn't even, I mean, and that's true because, because OCD has become a catchphrase. Like everyone exactly. has OCD. Exactly. Everyone does not have no, no. real, you know, real obsessive compulsive disorder. In fact, Absolutely. it's not rare. I mean, Somewhere like around percent, two to three percent of people have it in some, but but it's so you know, but everyone has you know bothersome thoughts, etc. So you can see why if you you know, whatever. That's how that happens. I agree. Yeah, let, let's let's um, let's um, uh, explain your four steps to overcome. Uh, can can you can you tell us very briefly? Which are your the, the four steps of your okay, method? So, so basically, um, the the four steps, which is what the book is, is based on, and then subsequent books that I have written. Um, uh, one of which is is called "You Are Not Your Brain," um, and then it's even become a business leadership book using that method uh, in a book called wow. "The Wise Advocate." Um, but um, it, it, so it's based in in a traditional understanding of of mindfulness and what and what mindfulness is so mindfulness is an inner clear-minded inner view of what's going on in you know in, you know in your conscious or in in your consciousness yes. and so the first step is relabel and and that helps you get that outer perspective i sometimes like to call it a third person outer perspective on your first person inner experience so you're watching it's an observational wow. perspective so relabeling helps to get that observational perspective where you go this, you know this urge this is an urge this is this this is and and in, in the next step reattribute you're going to strengthen the understanding of what it is by saying it, it's an obsessive thought it's a compulsive urge and it's caused by my brain so that's where the reattribute part comes in my brain is causing me to feel yeah. this but it's not really me and and that's another really good saying it's not me it's the ocd exactly so you're really trying to make this differentiation which is basically what you just said that that you are not what your OCD is. Exactly. Your OCD is your brain doing something, you know, based on circuitry not working right. But you can do something about it, and it's not you. So you exactly. relabel and reattribute, which basically means you recognize what the intrusive, bothersome feeling is and where it comes from. Your brain, that and that and that. Okay, so. Uh, on one level, that means you're going to have to sort of cope with it, deal with it, manage it, because it's not going to go away right away. 
And that's, that's where medication comes in because medication can help diminish the intensity of it, which definitely can help make the four steps easier to do. And especially makes that third step because the third step is really, you know, where, where the action is, you know, you got to do something. And what that do something is, is refocus. So relabel, reattribute, which in the later versions becomes yeah. reframe. Reframe means, is it true? It, frame this. What is it? If, if it? if it real or is it not real? Is it going in a good direction or a harmful direction? OCD is in some genuine sense, not true, not real. It's your brain sending a false message. So you read... You relabel, you reattribute it to your brain, which involves reframing and realizing it's not true. And then step three is refocus. You got, you really need to do something else. You can't sit there and just fight with it. You have to kind of, you have to specifically um, do another behavior, and do something, something else. Something Change different. Your focus of attention with it there, still bothering you. Exactly. And then we came up with things like, you know, the two minute rule, you know, where at least for two minutes, try to do something else and then reassess, you know, and when you do that regularly, your brain changes and step four is revalue and you then begin to much more quickly see what it is because you revalue it and say this, this is not something worth listening to. I understand what this is. Fantastic. So revaluing happens by relabeling, reattributing, and refocusing and seeing now I know what it is and I put a different value on it when it occurs. Okay. And uh, we here in the book, in, in, into the book, just in the index, we've got the four points, the four steps, uh, and they are explained into yep. in, in, inside the yeah, book. Yeah, that's right. In the back of the book, there is a, a treatment manual that you can read separately. You can read independently. That's right. I'm happy you're pointing that out. The end, the, the, the last, you know, 20 or so pages of the book is a yes. separate treatment manual that you can read independently um, that really summarizes how to do, you know, what I just said. Fantastic. Yeah, another question, uh, Jeffrey. Uh, I know that you are a practitioner of meditation. You like meditation. So, um, we, 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 can, we can establish or we can establish a link between meditation and behavioral psychology as well, because there has many points in common. Is, is it right? Do you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that, that's kind of what I just said. I'm applying... Because mindfulness is a meditative technique. I mean, um, you know, really done in a rigorous way, you know, requires sure. uh, doing a meditative practice. Sure. Um, but you, you take the kind of observation that you use in that meditative practice, this clear-minded observational perspective, and then you apply it. And and that's why there are that's why there right away there's another book, You Are Not Your Brain which is how to apply it to other things besides obsessive compulsive disorder. But to, to and then it become, became a business leadership. And then I wrote the, wow. the mind and the brain, which really explains, you know, the, the underlying neuroscience. I mean, that's a, that is a, uh, a science book. Uh, that's so so that cool. one's a, a, a little more difficult. It's not for everybody, but, but it, it, there's a, a book explaining the underlying science that explains how the brain changes when you refocus your attention. Wow, that, that's so cool. And But do you think a, a person with OCD can get better or even kind of fix with medit only with meditation? What do you think about this? Okay, I mean, look, I, look, I have a good friend, um, you, you know, who, who really deeply believes that's exactly what he did. But 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 by and large, um, you you can't depend on that. Um, that I wouldn't call that a yes. shall we say a medical approach, right? I mean, yeah, so yeah, yeah. so, right, right. Um, uh, and and you can and if you really do it sort of 
you know, rigorously enough and are disciplined in refocusing your attention adequately, which is what meditation is to a very significant degree. It's training in ways of focusing your attention and refocusing your attention. And a big part of mindfulness practice is is how to return to awareness of in and out breathing when your mind wanders um and okay if you really discipline your attention extremely well um you can you can cause enough brain changes so that the the, the bothersome thoughts become so ignorable so so readily not bothersome that that even though they're still there they were like way in the background and 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 for all intents and purposes it's as if they're not there and then some of the time you know they're not there i mean so so you know it is a matter of degree but by and large the goal um especially in the beginning of making the thoughts go away is not a particularly good goal. It's, it's a yeah. problem having yeah. that as the goal because, yeah, absolutely. Because, 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 because it gets in the way of managing your response to, to it, which is really what's more important. So we, we, we could say that, well, uh, it's more secure, much more secure for the general public to do uh our behavioral therapy uh than meditation in general we would say no well when you say behavioral therapy again you got to be careful with that too in the especially in the history of this disorder because uh -huh. i would never say behavioral therapy in the absence of saying cognitive behavioral therapy because as is different you probably yes. know and are just forgetting right there the original treatment for ocd which is still a predominant treatment is what's called exposure and response prevention which is this skinner bf skinner behaviorist no mind no choice external conditioning of people with obsessive compulsive disorder and that's what behaviorism is to a okay. different significant degree so as soon as you say behavioral treatment i'm going whoa okay. be okay, careful okay, okay. with that okay okay because that has a bad history in ocd as far as i'm concerned how we so can on call one it hand, you have to deal with the medication people and then on the other hand you have to deal with you, you know the behaviorists who have dominated the field yeah. since the very beginning of it you know and i'm old enough to have been around basically yeah. at the very beginning of it and how, and how we can call it so you know you want to have the and if you don't want to use you know meditative you know mindfulness per se but mindfulness is now a much more popular term than it was 30 years ago in in mainstream mental health but cognitive behavioral go together and there's a very strong cognitive component in relabeling yeah understanding that it's ocd okay. understanding this isn't me understanding yes. this is false okay i okay. mean that's the cool. heart the heart and soul of cognitive therapy is recognizing it as yeah. a cognitive distortion which we call i call in, in in my work a deceptive brain message okay cool it's a very, deceptive very, brain very, message. very very good point and uh, jeffrey to to finish which tip you could give you can give to everyone which is listening that might have ocd in this right moment just one or, or two tips to give them yeah well, there with, are no hidden with tips all your experience all what i just said i mean i mean the biggest tip is realize that when you're just trying to make that feeling go away um you're 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 really not going to be helping the situation i mean okay take you know if 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 it's overwhelming you yeah then there is a definite role for serotonin uptake blocking medications just as the which is a general class of very commonly used medications that are good for a lot of other things they're now actually oh. the primary treatment for anxiety as well yeah, but they they seem to work they don't seem to work they do have a specific effect on diminishing the bothersomeness of ocd 
intrusive and that's the thing they're intrusive they come in against your will they bother you they 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 attack you you feel like you're being attacked exactly. and so obviously it's only natural to want that to go away but it turns out but the medications don't generally make it totally go away and then yeah. even so the amount of medication it takes to really do that is is higher than it would need to be which leads to side effects etc cetera, etc cetera. so with 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 using co you know co cognitive you know behavioral and the behavioral is refocusing the cognitive is relabeling you know reframing understanding. attributing understanding what it is you can change your brain it helps the medication you can lower the dose and and you know so so you want to you know learn how to refocus your attention and understand in the context of understanding this is not me it's ocd i can you know it's not how i feel it's what i do and what you want to do is focus on another activity and you the know? brain changes and and then the brain changes we That's know right. this uh, you and you know it we very call well that self directed neuroplasticity well you can change you're changing your own brain. when you refocus that effort that you're making is the effort that's changing your own brain well so uh, jeffrey thank you very much for this talk we remember to everyone that this book desbloquea tu cerebro is already in in, in every bookshop ya lo podéis comprar es el mejor the best book the best manual for ocd in the market everywhere so thank you very much, uh, Jeffrey, okay. for this talk, and see you soon in, in some months in, in yeah, Granada. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we're coming to Granada to, you know, for this OCD conference. Meeting. Exactly, yeah. which is there. And, and, and so you're going to help help them to publicize that too. Very good. Exactly. We in, in June, in, in my, in my, in, in, in my, internet uh, means in, in in instagram in my facebook is all the details of this conference uh, and everybody can, interested can go they will listen to you there i will be there as well thank you very much jeffrey and see you very soon thank you adios <laughs>